from the 24th of the second month of 1438, the star at the feet with the four of swords, the two of cups, and the high priestess about the waist. There is no sunlight or moonlight, but only starlight as her left foot is in water and her right foot dangles in air. She holds one sword down from her sight, and the other three stick in her hair. By the twisted tree trunk, without blight, a chalice is set aside, and the two weave together with their goblet and without underwear. She perches on a branch, without a fight, and tore off the peel of the pomegranate while holding out her veils above the owl flying from there. Carp swim to the side of the Milky Way. Tonight in the very air, chrysanthemums bloom without day as drops fall from her form and guidance. Lotuses fall from the swirl and the dove ascends, but Barbas or Barbas, Valifor or Malifar are Malefar or Valifar or Valifor and the like have some respite till the final recompense. In secret, a great lion that can be requested into the shape of a man changes men into different forms, and a lion with the head of a man, Ardaki, connect to your inner purity of truths with symbolism and fragrance. Baal, Baal, with the forgotten Halahel, and Agares, or Agrias, may be among the weakening connections. The heart is above that cat. Our man, are all three at once, something unknown that is probably serpentine and Ouroboros like, and an old man on a crocodile do not have to be separate or opposite in the Aquarian reflections. From the enlightenment, truce, and unity of the living organisms, darkness and light comes upon her garments. From without and within, the lunar cycles, names, qualities, and histories is something I borrow from outer cosmology. By the outer chants and rituals, these, Shaitan, or Sathan, Wamalek, Baal, Zabul, Arur, Birch, Adam, Belial, Ashtarot, Ha Shamude, Baal Pegar, Baal Adram Malik, or Samal, Li Lit, Nahma, and other demons of the Ashia fire of God. Without even a tomorrow, may have their inner and mystical realization.